Hi guys, hi, it's Rob G out here in Surprise, Arizona. Um, I'm going to go over some wiper motors and what I know about them. I don't know everything, but I have used these in the past for my first couple years for my garage haunt. And um, how I obtained mine, I bought mine through Monster Guts. I bought the whole kit. The motor comes with a pigtail adapter. A 12 volt 5 amp power supply and its power adapter that's the whole kit and I think when I first purchased them um, they were about 40 bucks I believe they increased now in price wise they're probably close to 50 um, you can probably find wiper motors somewhere else maybe through eBay or your local junkyard um, but for the whole kit itself it's a pretty reasonable price um, I'd rather just pay me personally one price, get everything all at one time, than try to hunt for everything and not getting everything I needed. So that's what the wiper motor kit's right there. Now I'm going to go over how they operate. Pretty simple. Got your power supply here. So I'm going to plug that in. Oops. As you notice, as you plug this in, this could be a little LED light. It will turn on green. There it is. So you know now you have power. And plug it in. And that's how it operates. This one's going at a very fast mode counterclockwise. If you switch these pigtail um, items here around, you know this goes clockwise at a slow speed and I believe if you switch them back and forth and what have you you'll get different results sometimes you won't get anything at all um, let's see here what this does there we go a little faster clock clockwise so what you can operate on these is any, any type of various props say like electric chair um, rocking chair, seesaw, uh, which is cauldron where it's kind of rotating clock in a circular motion where it's mixing its um, potions and what have you. And uh, what you can do here differently, say if you want to control the speed, well there is a good option for that. They're PWN pulse width modulators. I have one right here, I'll show you how this one works with this. Um, I bought the pigtail separately. You had a male and female pigtail. Um, I think I bought 10, uh, 10 in each package, and they're like 10 bucks a piece for. Um, so you get like a dollar, like a dollar or five each one. So a total of 10. And the switch. These right here. You can actually control your speed. Now I have different variations of these. I'm sure the, the one that doesn't have the best effect first and kind of increase going forward to, to the better product one. The lower speed you go, you will get some audio feedback. Um, these are pretty much good for LED lighting. Um, from what I was looked on, online, I was kind of coming across information that this is not the best application for wiper motors, but it does work. So I just want to kind of show you how that worked for that. Let me unplug this one. Let me get some others. How about the different variations? And I got these all through Amazon. And there's different prices. They average anywhere between $8 all the way up to $20. It all depends on which one you get. Um, these two I got through Amazon. This one I got through eBay. This one's a little cheaper. And the funny thing about that, it took me longer to get this one, but this one seems to operate much better compared to these two, in my opinion. So let me hook these ones up real quick. And I didn't have to do no soldering. I bought the, bought the whole um, board, what have you. It did not come with a pigtail, so that's where you get to buy separately. Birth and else comes all intact.
and there's a little dial right here. You can increase or decrease or even uh, to a, a snail space. There we go. Let me grab the other one. Same results basically. The reason I bought multiple ones is I kind of wanted to see what would work better. And um, you know, it's a little trial and error, what have you. So I don't mind spending a little extra money on um, <laughs> trying what to work out best. I don't know, I like this one uh, the best. It actually has a little LED light too, tells you when it, the power is on. So. so when I purchased this one, um, it did not come with the pigtails, the red and black pigtails, but everything else it came with, with this little um, thumb dial here, and the whole board, no soldering at all whatsoever. I think I got this for a total of $10 um, through eBay, so not too bad. Now I'm going to show you how to operate or trigger your wiper motor. I'm going to show you how to do one off a motion detector. I think you're kind of you're going to kind of like this. Let me get this all straightened out. Getting confused here with all my wiring. So I got this motion detector a few years ago. I got them over at Home Depot, really cheap. Um, they were in discontinued aisle. So I think I got them for like five bucks a piece, about five of them. I just spray painted them. Um, now, to operate a wiper motor off a motion detector is not going to work very easily. You have to do some modifications. And what I mean by that, because what comes with the power supply is a three prong, a grounded three prong, and to operate through a motion detector, they have these little screwable sockets, which is a two prong. So what I went and did is I went and bought a, a really cheap extension cord, cut off the female, rewired it, just a positive and negative, no ground at all whatsoever. So um, I am able to operate the motion, the wiper motor, the motion detector. That goes to there. Let me hook it up real quick. Now the motion detector has its own power, which I already went ahead and had that hooked up over to my, my power strip. Now I have this on test mode. Now the test mode only runs anywhere between, I believe it's like 15 to 20 seconds, maybe a little longer, I don't remember exactly. And. You're going to hear me, you're going to, you're going to not hear me, but you're going to see my hand wipe over and you may hear a little click. And it's about a three second delay. It doesn't always operate that fast, see? One, two, three. There we go. It's like three second delay. So if you're going to happen to use a motion detector to operate your wiper motor, you kind of want to put it a little further above where you actually want it to activate. You gotta play with it a little bit. Um, the negative part about this, you cannot control your timing. It's on test mode right now, which is anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds, as I'm noticing now. Um, this particular one has test mode, one minute, five minute, and 10 minute. So if you wanna go that route, it's probably the most affordable way to do it. It's about maybe a total, uh, if you can get these at the cheaper, even find them through Harper Freight, or even maybe a Habitat for Humanity. Um, that's, that's a good way to go. I just want to show you how that operates for that. Now I have a different way what I like to use instead. 
so much stuff here. I'm trying to figure out what's what. Let me get rid of this. Now, what I have here differently is a simple timer. Um, these simple timers, you can get them um, through Amazon. They also sell them through Fright Props. They're a little more expensive through Fright Props. I find them much, much more affordable through Amazon. I believe I picked up um, this one for like 15 bucks. Um, it just comes with the board by itself. It doesn't come with any wiring. I did that all myself. Two pigtails and also my thumb controller. The cool thing about this, you can actually control your time. How long you want your prop to activate. And this is already hooked up to a 12 volt, 5 amp power supply. You have to have at least 5 amps. Anything less than that, you will not operate, be able to operate your wiper motor. And this is the little dial here. You can have it like for two seconds. Or even, I believe, up to like a minute or what have you. Even longer. Now, the cool thing about having this um, simple timer, you can have a thumb switch or even a motion detector. So if you have an IR or PIR that you um, want to use, you can hook that up too. Let me kind of shorten this up. And I kind of want to show you something a little different too. Say if you want to control the speed. You can do that. So I'm going to a little longer. Activate it. Oh, come on, work. Why is it not working? Okay, what did I do wrong here? <laughs> Let me grab another one. Making sure I'm doing this correctly. Ah, uh, it's making a liar out of me. Power to that, that goes to that. Why is it not working? Oh, this thing's getting warm. Oh, <laughs> it came loose. That's why. <laughs> so not only can you control how long you want it, you can also control your speed. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this and I'm gonna show you something a little different here with another um, prop controller. I'm gonna use one of my peekaboos. This is the peekaboo, I believe this is the peekaboo 105. Um, this one comes with audio. This is, if you happen to have one of these controllers, you can control a wiper motor. Fire Props does sell a different adapter um, to operate their wiper motors that they happen to sell. Um, I kind of had to finagle with the wiring to kind of figure out how it works. So I was able to do that. Let me plug this real quick just to show you how it operates. It came loose again. There we go. Powered up. How come that's not powered up? Let's use a different one. There we go. Same thing with the um, fight props. You can control the speed if you want to.
all depends where you want to go with it. Um, with the with the um, Fright Props Prop Control, it works a little differently to activate it, or not to activate it, but to actually program it. Let me unplug that. Let's see here, I believe. Let's record. It saves it. No, nope, that's not working. Okay, so I think it's record and this. Yeah, that's number two, not the number one. So let me try a different one real quick. There we go. So that's how that works with the fight props pop controller. So I hope this helps somebody um, maybe find a direction how to use a wiper motor or a little more control with the timing and the speed. Um, my personal opinion, what I like much better, I'd rather go with a simple timer that's much more affordable to go and you can control your exact timing. Um, most props when you want to operate your, your wiper motor you probably don't want to operate all day long or the whole evening long um, You can do that if you want to it, the wiper motors are made to do that they, they can last quite a bit But if you just want to operate for a small period of time This is probably the most affordable way to go with controlling your timing and adding the PW Pulse width modulator. Yeah PWM um, You're able to control your timing. I'm mean, not the timing, but your speed which is a nice little um addition to your to your prop so there it goes so i hope you guys like it and i hope this helps somebody um any questions just send me a message thanks for watching